go. Ew, vegetables? We're not gerbils. It's a vegetable medley, Claire. Well, we want chips. Yeah, and cookies and popcorn covered in hot sauce. Look at the three of you. All you do is sit around, eat junk, watching TV all day. I don't know where you get these bad habits from. Hey, what's on TV? Oh, look, cartoons! Yeah. yeah. Frog eat in court and eat my c c <laughs> What's up with the vegetables? Y'all turning into gerbils out here? What's up? I'm finished waiting on all of you. I'm finished being your major cook, your personal valet, and you know what else? I'm about this close from being finished as your mother and your wife. Wow, she takes them vegetables serious. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go talk to her. Oh, the joys of marriage. Hey, baby, what's the matter? No, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. Okay, good. No, ever since I stopped working for you, I've been stuck in this house taking care of your kids, living out your little fantasy. That's not my fantasy. My fantasy is you and Summer Hyatt butt naked. Shut up, <laughs> Can't you see that I don't have a life of my own? Everything I do is for everybody else. I don't even know who I am anymore. You know what the problem is? Everything. If I was living in the house alone, maybe with a cat, I'd be doing something a little bit more stimulating. Okay, you want me to get your cat? I'll get your cat. Little cute little pretty. I don't want no damn cat. What a life, Michael. I, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. I'm like the hamster in the wheel. So there's a lovely vegetable method back there for you. Stop it, Michael. <laughs> Ain't in the mood. I'm just trying to lighten things up. Come on, baby. Listen, we can make some changes. We can start by you not doing everything no, for everybody. No, then I really won't have anything to do. You sure? Yes, babe. Are you, are you positive about that? Yes. Okay, then could you fix me a sandwich? Because I'm scared. Run. Huh? Run. Run, Run hard and fast. Let me know what I did, okay? And after all that, my client was acquitted of all charges. Wow. So you're like Johnny Cochran. No, no, no. You mean Johnny Copycat. The man stole everything from me. The suits, the mustache, the whole rhyming thing. I started that. If it's not his gun, you must let him run. That was you. 1987. <laughs> so wait a minute, why'd you quit? Well, I got bored. You know, I got a divorce, and after that I decided to embark on a new and wonderful adventure that looks a lot like you. Oh, you're a real smoothie. Yeah, he's a smoothie, a fruit smoothie. <laughs> There you are, you cheap little snake. You leave your toothpaste at my house, which, by the way, you squeezed in the middle after I repeatedly spanked your little hairy behind and told you not to. He's got the same mustache on his behind. Don't be chicken. Don't make them faces. You know, I, I can't resist it when you poke that bottom lip out at me. You gonna kill me? I'll scream bloody murder. Don't touch me like that. Wait, this is a friend of mine. He's an idiot. He's just joking. So now my big joke's you. What about when we were floating on a raft in Nagila and you told me that you loved me and wanted to commit to my life and be my life partner? Look at all lies. What is the alcohol talking? <laughs> she was hot, dude. <laughs> yeah, she was hot. Let me get you back now. We are even. We are never even. <laughs> How you been, man? I've been good. Come man, on, let me get great. you a drink. Come on. Yeah, I feel great, too, man. Wow. You know, ever since the divorce, man, I wake up whistling every morning. And I got nobody at my house talking about, why are you so happy? <laughs> I can't remember what that's like, man. I've been married 15 years. Feels like forever. Yeah, you know what they say. Dance is always green. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, not really, man. Because the truth is, Mike, if I had a woman like Jay, I'd still be married, man. So how is she anyway? She's great. Come on, talk to me. Talk no, it's cool. You know, marriage is Mike. It's the ups and downs. Michael. Okay, she's driving me crazy. <laughs> she's on this rant now about how she doesn't know who she is. She feels lost. I feel unfulfilled. What is she talking about? You know something, man? My ex-wife, Sheila, was going through the same thing. And then I made the suggestion that she go get herself a hobby. A hobby? That's a good idea. Yeah, well, you got to be careful. Though. Why? Well, see, Sheila went out and started... Um, <clears throat> taking up some uh, striptease classes. That sounds good. Yeah, unfortunately, it was after the kids, and she was weighing about 250 at the time. <laughs> Mike, she came out the bathroom. She was trying to do this little seductive routine, something sexy for me. Mm -hmm. She grabbed hold to the bed pole, and she swung. Mm -hmm. She bent the bed pole, Mike. <laughs> the whole pole just came in. She had on a thong, too, but... It, but then again, that really wasn't a thong. It was a pair of boxes that kind of got caught up. <laughs> it was about as sexy as trying to take a ham out of a can. You know, a hobby is not a bad idea. 
You know, maybe I can get her back into painting. Remember the art she used to do? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, she was great at that, too. Yeah. So, how the kids? Oh, they're doing great, man. You know, it's kind of been tough on all of us, you know. It's a rough transition we're going through right now. But right now, I'm just focusing. Right. Just pretty much on every ass uh, speck of their lives. <laughs> I see. Okay, here's the deal. I am announcing the beginning of Art Appreciation Week. What? And we're gonna start with the art of shut it up. Shut up! <laughs> You're all gonna do this. I want each one of you to find a creative outlet. Then I want you to produce something, and we're gonna showcase it at the end of the week. Like what? Well, I don't know. You, you, you like clothing, don't you? Yes. You wanna take me shopping? Uh, no. <laughs> but you can create your own original designs. I suppose I could do that. I'll call it Claire's Fashion Wear. Ah. <laughs> I wouldn't dare be caught in Claire's Fashion Wear. Hey, that rhymes. Hey, maybe that could be my art. A poet. Yeah. Yeah, see, see? I'm a player, a spoken rhyme sayer. I cook food with flambea. My dad drinks Chardonnay. I got dirty streaks in my underwear. But, but I don't care. Uh, yeah. I'm a little scared that you don't have a prayer, and you got about as much potential as I got a hair. <laughs> you keep practicing, you may produce something good, huh? I think this is a great idea. The kids do need to be inspired. It'll broaden their horizon. Great. So what are you going to do? Ooh. Me? Yeah, you. I beg your pardon? Yes, you are a part of this, too. Uh... Nah. <laughs> Come on. No, babe. I'm not Come on, get spirit no. of this. Inspire the kids. You're the artistic one in the family. I don't know, Michael. Yes. Why don't you do some of those fabulous paintings she used to do? Oh, baby, I don't know. I don't think I still got it. Oh, come on, Jay. Well, you just don't so. lose a gift like that. That would be like the Mona Lisa losing her smile. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, in the spirit of Art Appreciation Week and to preserve the Mona Lisa, right. I'm going to have to do this. Well, great. And hey, what are you going to do? Me? Yeah, you. Well, you can't have Art Appreciation Week without the appreciative. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Come on. Wait a minute. Everybody has something to do with me. Well, then what is it you like doing? Well, there is this one thing. I'm not right now. You want to save some of that, that practicing because your hands will get all cramped up. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to go outside and play with you. Okay, baby. Hey, son. How's the poetry going? Oh, great. I just finished my first poem. Oh, good. Lay it on. All right. I call this one Wisdom. 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 Okay. Open the door. Close the door. I am so confused. <laughs> Lost in the friction of life. No. I have never read a diction every in my life. Quite scary, merry, merry, quite contrary. <laughs> but my head is big with wisdom. 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 Wisdom! Wisdom. Wiki, 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 wisdom. So what do you think? Son, you put the dumb in wisdom. Really? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on your mother. Okay. You keep right. I will. And you came with the wiki wikis on, you don't want to that. That was me. <laughs> Genius. Thank you. Hey. What's up, baby? How are you doing? It's cute. Cute. Just nice? <laughs> it's great. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I know when you're lying, Michael, because your voice goes up four octaves. What are you talking about? Michael, what? will you just stop it and give me your honest criticism, please? Okay. It's not criticism, mm -hmm. but it lacks a certain genius, a, a certain je ne sais quoi. That's, that's French for passion. No, it isn't. Damn that porky pig. <laughs> Do you mean weak, 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 weak is not Chinese? <laughs> but what's missing is passion. 
So what am I passionately supposed to paint, Mr. Expert? I don't know. What do you love? What excites you? What stimulates you? See, that's what I'm talking about right now. How am I supposed to get stimulated in a garage? Bleep, 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 bleep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I can't wait for you to finish it. Oh, yeah, I know. I just gotta take three inches from the hem and I'll be done. <laughs> you, you know, babe, with all that talent, why don't you design men's fashion? Because that's where the money is. Really? Yeah, because they use more fabric. <laughs> why don't you design something for me, huh? All right, let me take your measurements. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm a 30. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, and make it 34. I mean, the kids are wearing them baggy today, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll make it 38. <laughs> hey, baby. Who's your new friend? This is Franklin. He has a big crush on me. Yeah. You for sure do. You like my daughter? I'd walk through heck and back for her. Wow, through heck and back? That's far. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Frankie. It's Franklin. Oh, okay, Frank. Frank Flynn. Oh, all right. Frank Footer. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Look, let me show you and Frankenberry some of the finer points of playing the piano. <laughs> You ain't gonna get better than that. That's how I've been practicing that for a year. It takes a lot of knuckle wrist motion. Very good. That's good. So how did you two meet? He strolled into my gallery pretending to look for a painting. And then I stumbled across a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, God, you're not falling for that one, are you? I am, as long as he's buying my art. I hear that. You know, I have to say, I'm a little nervous about showing you my painting since you're a professional. Don't be nervous. I'm sure it'll be good. Mm, I hope so. But, oh, I think they're starting. Here, let's go on in. Okay. Gather around the runway. It's time to begin Art Appreciation Night. And this is my contribution. Daddy Lowrider's Model by Miguel. <laughs> Yes, Claire, these are fantastic. I think they're a little too low, though. Not if you're a plumber. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to change these and we're going to finish the rest of this. I entitled this one, Suburban Pain. <laughs> Get a punch there, believe! <laughs> Why is this suburban kid so mad? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I'm saying. But I gotta make it home by curfew. <laughs> so until I'm free from all this love my family supposedly giving me, I'm gonna be mad for no damn reason. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Accompanied by my friend Frank. A 
Okay. Break a leg, Frankenberry. children for their effort and cooperation this week. I must say that the artist and the art has been amazing. Yes. And now for the piece of resistance, my beautiful bride will now unveil her latest creation. Okay. Come on, baby, show us the fruit of your leg. All right, all right. All right, you guys, I really want your honest criticisms, especially you, Teresa, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Baby, what do you think? I think you painted someone else's thingy on me. I painted it as if it was Michelangelo's Statue of David, like a masterpiece. Yeah, well, couldn't you have painted it as uh, the Statue of Leroy or something? <laughs> Steve, whatever. Steve, what do you think? I think I got it beat. <laughs> That's because it's not an accurate depiction. I love it. You do? Really? You love it really? Yes. Jay, you're a natural. This is a terrific painting. <laughs> but you hate it, don't you? You know what? I got a great idea. You should hang it in your gallery. <gasps> no, no, no. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> you are a mean and hateful man. <laughs> yes, Steve Lynn is. <laughs> I don't understand you, Jay. I feel diminished. You make me feel this big. No, it's okay. That big. You were the one who told me to paint what I love. Well, I love you. You are a strong kind, beautiful man. Not in that painting. In that painting, I'm mini-me. <laughs> Michael, Michelangelo's David stood as a symbol of masculinity for centuries. Yeah, and you know what killed David? Depression and humiliation. <laughs> he was the laughing stock of the Coliseum locker room. They go, hey, here comes little Davy. <laughs> Even the lions laugh. <laughs> you know Who bit that off? <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Just forget it. This is the opposite effect of what I intended. I put my heart and my soul into that pain, and I wanted you to love it, but you don't even like it. So fine, Michael. I'll throw it out. I'll go back to doing what I do best, cooking and cleaning. Hey. I'm sorry. The truth is, I love that painting. You love it? Yeah. And I loved painting it. And I loved seeing you come alive while you were painting. Baby, I haven't felt like that in so long. You know what? You should put that painting in the gallery. Really? Mm -hmm. Baby, really? You don't hate it, really? No, I think it's perfect. And I wouldn't change a thing. <sighs> I'm so nervous. What are you nervous about? Baby, you're going to be great. You know, you look pretty relaxed for a man that's about to become all exposed. I mean, just look at all these people here. Yeah, I see. Who are all these people? Um, just friends of mine. You know, people like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you got me, huh? You finally got me back, huh? Yes. And now may I present the work of a new artist who has great talent, an original style, and a fantastic eye for detail. Her name is Jay Kyle, and this work is entitled A Nude Study of My Husband. I call this one love. She's not Hallie, nor Harley Berry, not even Jayla. Beauty? <laughs> oh, no. Sexy girls, I would like to meet, but the ones I attract have no front teeth. <laughs> 